Are you on a low carb diet and looking for a healthy breakfast? Stay tuned. Hi, my name is Katrina. Welcome to the Organics channel, where we explore different recipes together to support you and your loved ones on your own unique health journey. Today, we're going to be making a no bread French toast. Take your eggplant and slice off both ends. And then take your peeler and go ahead and peel off the skin. Eggplant is a low carb vegetable, so if you're on a low carb or keto diet, it's perfect. Take your peeled eggplant and slice it into one half inch slices. I'm gonna take it all the way down. Now, eggplant is pretty flavorless, so it's really great because it soaks up whatever flavors you're using. And we're going to add some salt to it, and that's going to help take out some of the moisture while we prepare the batter. So just take your salt and sprinkle it on. We're going to set this aside and go ahead and work on our batter. First take your eggs, and then your almond or coconut milk. Add your cinnamon or pumpkin spice. I'm adding nutmeg since I'm using cinnamon, but you don't need it if you use the pumpkin spice. Add your vanilla, and your sweetener of choice. I'm using xylitol, but you could use stevia or monk fruit extract or lacanto, whichever you prefer. Okay, taking your whisk, let's whisk it up. As you can see, our eggplant is now sweating. So you just wanna take a paper towel and wipe off the extra moisture that the salt has pulled out. I'm going to go ahead and take my fork and just poke holes in the rest of the eggplant slices. This helps the batter soak up a little bit more thoroughly into your eggplant and it should give it some more flavor. Okay, now we're ready to cook them up. So take your pan and put it on medium heat and then use whatever kind of oil you'd like. You can use coconut oil or butter. I'm going to go ahead and use butter. And then you're going to want to take your eggplant and put it in your batter. So of course, this is not bread, so it takes a little bit longer to sit in there to soak it up. Okay, let's go ahead and put it in our pan. And we're going to cook it until it gets light brown on both sides. Garnish with some cinnamon and some maple syrup or whatever kind of sweetener you'd like. It's got a different texture, but you can't really taste the eggplant. It's got a nice, mild, little bit sweet flavor, just depending on how much sweetener you put in. Thanks so much for tuning in today. I'd love to hear your feedback. Also, subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our new videos. 